Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Most of this stuff is from the plus section and I think almost all of it is Halloween and a little bit of fall. I know. Coffee. I was playing, I, well, I went out today to play pickleball for the first time. I fell. <laughs> I'm a doofus. I can't help it. So, but it was super fun. I encourage you to get out and play. All right. So my Dollar Tree Plus has Halloween and fall in the plus section right now. I can't get this all in. Well, maybe this way. It's a hocus pocus sign. And the best part is they spelled it right this year. What? I know. So I do have the beware sign from last year. One of them will hang inside the house and one will hang outside the house. But I I love it. I love the purple. We'll just leave it right here. We'll just leave it real close. Okay. Now, before I get too deep into the rest of the seasonal stuff, I picked up in the back to school section. I've shown these before. I love these for um, my taxes at the end of the year. So I have a couple thinner ones for some documents, but this one will go to my tax lady with me because it holds a whole year's worth of all my receipts. And then... Um, I bring it home and I just file away this whole, hey, once it came off in one pull. Um, I just file this whole thing away. I'll put a sticker on it with the year and this whole thing just gets filed away. But I love it. It has some of that uh, like nylon-y fabric, but it opens up nice and wide. If you have a lot of documents or honestly, for back to school, if you have a little one or a grandchild that brings you lots of pictures and stuff, put their class year on it and put all the stuff they bring home from school for that class year in here. You can store all their like artwork and stuff when they're, you know, you gotta keep that stuff. And then you can file these away and then you have every year separated. So I grabbed one of those because I just like to have them. Um, I think, I showed you the last time the smelly markers and I grabbed the Jolly Rancher because I wanted this green. So I believe the colors are green, pink, red, and blue. That's the combination, but I didn't have a green. So I grabbed these in the Jolly Ranchers and this is watermelon scented and, nope, watermelon scented and green apple. So I grabbed those. Um, and then they have these little embroidery kits. And I thought that was super fun. And I love that they come with literally everything and all your directions, which is great because sometimes Dollar Tree stuff doesn't, right? Okay, now I'm going to a disco party, ABBA. I'm not sure if I have time to do anything with this, but I figured if not Christmas time. So it, the theme is um, disco. So I grabbed three spools of this silver beaded. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five rows of beading. It's all connected, but you can separate it if you wanted to. So you're really, you're getting four feet, but if you divide it, you're really getting 12 feet. So I grabbed three of that in silver. I thought I could, and one of them seems to be a mat. I don't know, it could be the lighting in here. It's probably the lighting. Is it the lighting? You tell me. Probably the lighting. Anyway, three spools of that. And then they had this, which I thought would be fun for Christmas even. And this is 30 feet of floral ribbon. So it's like that papery ribbon stuff. But again, I grabbed two. Um, if I think about it, I might get some gold for Christmas time. Because that would be fun to like wrap your front door, make a big bow. I feel like that's what you would use, right? It is, it doesn't say, but I think it's like the the papery thin stuff that you don't want to like reuse. But anyway, so I grabbed two of those. Obviously those were the dollar spot or dollar this 25, this was $5. Um, everything else was a dollar 25. Now let's get into the more expensive stuff. And this will probably be a short weekend, but I did want to say I'm wearing my Pelotonia shirt. Um, I am raising money for cancer research. And if you feel so inclined or if you have the financial budget to help me out, I would really appreciate it. There is a link in the description below. Any donation amount helps. I have to raise $1,500 and I only have 183 so far. I know I'm kind of late this year, 
Um, so I would really appreciate it if you could help sponsor my ride. Um, all the money I raise goes to cancer research at the James Cancer Institute at OSU or Ohio State University. Um, and so, yeah, thank you. I would appreciate it. I should get a giveaway going. Okay, back to the drawing board because I don't really have, oh, I apparently bought four of this. I thought I really needed a lot of this. So I better find a project. Um, I don't have a lot left because I got the expensive stuff, but I've got this. It is a solar lantern. I love it. It is Halloween, but it kind of, I don't know. That is glass. That is definitely glass. It is solar powered and it is not charged. But you get an on off switch at the bottom here. You are a little solar at the top and a hanger so I could hang it or sit it on my front porch this year. And in the eve, you know, just sit it out there. And then in the evening, it will, the candle will light up. I don't know if it's a warm light. Looks like a yellow light. And there's not, oh, there is a place also that you can put a battery. Um, yeah, there's a spot in the bottom you can put a battery or solar. So it does say, oh, it says powerful solar panel recharges the battery during the day. One AAA rechargeable battery included. Oh, batteries in there. Nice. Um, they had it in like a silver and then they had this one here. Here we should do our I love this. I cannot wait to put it out. And quite frankly I think I could leave it out through fall. I don't feel like it screams Halloween but I think it would be just spooky enough. And speaking of fall, they had this flocked pumpkin garland out. Just these little pumpkins. And the garland runs underneath the stem. I'm definitely going to put this on my porch with my lights over my front door. But it's a nice size set. And you get nine pumpkins. And it's six feet long. Alex, that was not very nice. He's been very bad today with Wellington. You gonna get him, Wellington? Ridiculous. So I grabbed that pack, which I thought was great. I'm not gonna open it up, but they feel like that furry, furry fabric. I think that was it for fall. I also got for my front door. Oh, that was $3. This was $5. It's a spider web outdoor light. It says five foot spider web, 60 LEDs for indoor use only. So I'm sorry, indoor. I'll put it in my front window here. Um, five feet, 60 inches. Spider web uses three AA batteries not included. One plastic spider in the middle. They had them in orange. This is a white. And then they had purple. But I think I'll just hang it in my front window. Um, I'm assuming, yeah. Yeah, nice. So you have your battery pack and then it comes out and you open it up and it's a spider web. So I thought that would be super fun. I don't really decorate a lot for Halloween, but I thought this stuff was fun. They had a bunch of these bleeding candles, pillar candles and tapers. And this one is like the silver metal with all the skulls, but I can show you. There's like a hole right here. I don't think you'll see it. But inside that hole is red. Inside this candle is red wax. And as you're burning it, they have holes designed that the red wax will pour out of. So you definitely want to put these on like a glass trivet or something because it's designed to melt and run. So I thought, well, that's fun. This one is the bleeding 
skull. They had it in the silver. They had it in plain black. It is a Greenbrier product. They were $5. Um, like I said, they had the tapers. They had this. They had a witch's cauldron. They had a bunch of different ones, but I thought this was fun. And I can put it on a on my ta table here and light her up and let it just bleed away. Which, by the way, seems kind of gross. Um, I just have a couple other things. Two other things to be specific. I got this to take to work. I'll make cupcakes. Um, you get 50. So, actually, I can do this twice. Um, Wellington is coming because Alex is being a meanie boo-boo. Oh, you can't see him coming, Dabs. Oh, I have a basket right over here of blankets. And he's decided that that's where he needs to be. Um, anyway, what these are... So if you have a child, again, that's having a Halloween party, an office party, anything like that. So there's two designs. I love the stripes in this one. So there's a couple of things you can do. Number one, you make cupcakes, not in here. You don't bake in here. You drop your cupcakes in and then frost them. And now it makes a decorative like Halloween cupcake liner but you can also fill these up with candy and just sit them around if you're having like a little halloween get together you can fill them up with nuts i mean there's all kinds of stuff that you can do if you pack lunches you can just put those in there to separate your little fruits and vegetables for the day i just thought they were a lot of fun and i am obsessed with the black and white striped ones and they have a gold that says trick or treat I am obsessed with that. I love this black and white stripe for Halloween. And actually, I got on clearance somewhere, for like a dollar, a big black and white stripe bow that I want to put on a, a purple Halloween wreath. So I thought, well, this is perfect. I usually take in two dozen cupcakes, so this could get me through two Halloweens. And my team, they enjoy that when I do it. And then this is the last thing that I got. I thought it was dirty, not dirty. And it says Black Cat Apothecary, potions and brews, stop in for a spell, crafting since 1693. Tell me this is not everything. This might have to be my, my thumbnail. It's metal. Honestly, this is just going to sit out. And it may even just sit up. Um, I think it's short. I think it's small enough to sit on my mantle under my TV and it was $5 in the plus. Oh, there you are. $5 in the plus section and I'm obsessed. I should have got 10 of them. I mean, yeah, it's not, I mean, I'm not serving tea on this. Let's just be truthful. But am I sitting this out this Halloween? A hundred percent. Yes, I sure am. And I want it leaning on something so you can read the sign. Isn't that awesome? I was pretty excited when I went in and saw that they had Halloween out already. Am I ready for all this? No, uh -uh. I'm not ready for Halloween. I'm, I'm barely ready for summer. Although I did get a little summer today. Um, but you know, you gotta buy it while it's there because if you don't, it's gone. I'm excited to see what they bring out for fall. Um, I would like to maybe redo a lot of my fall decor. But we'll see. I'm headed off on vacation. I probably will be back by the time you see this. Um, but you'll see some footage of the beach. And yeah, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will talk with you later.